Hello my lovelies, Rob here from Kickback Garage. This is just a super quick video, no intro or nothing. We're just gonna get straight down to the nitty gritty. I have been requested, have I been requested? A lot of people have requested this video. So, uh, and I haven't really had anything to, to uh, show it on, but now I have. And the request was, how do you use this tool? Interested? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Right, well, this is the um, badge tool. You've probably seen this on eBay. Now, uh, I have, and it says there, Lynx. So I reckon that's from Lynx Lambretta. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, I've had uh, various <laughs> uh, successes with this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It sort of depends on the badge. What I'm going to do is fit a little badge to uh, the Shrek mobile here. And I thought I'd film it just to show you how I do it. So this is the badge that I'm going to be fitting on my leg shield there. And for those that know, no, <laughs> I won't say anything about that. I'm sure some people realize what, it, what, uh, what that means. Right, well, the first thing you have to do when you're going to fit your nice shiny badges to your... Uh, leg shields or wherever is you have to cut down the pins um, what I did with this one and what I've done in the past as well I fit them to uh, the holes on the leg shields and I try and cut them with my Dremel so that these pins are only about two and a half millimeters uh, protruding on the opposite side of the leg shield and another really important thing to do is uh, I think I've seen it suggested that you should drill the inside because when um, when these uh, badges get chromed, they can be a little bit brittle on the back side and the, uh, the, the brass won't peen over. Uh, that's not how I do them. I'm sure you could do it. It's, I mean, it's so small. It's two millimeters. I think probably you have to run them through with a one and a half millimeter drill. I haven't got that sturdy of a hand. So what I do, I use this really small needle file and I just give it some twists. Because you don't really need to take the chrome off all the way down uh, into the bottom of that tube because you're only peening over uh, the end bit. Right, let's, uh, let's have a go at peening. It's peening. You know what that means in Norwegian? Uh, go and Google it. Right, because uh, of uh, the type of camera I've got, this is absolutely minute. So there's really not much point trying to give you some close-ups. But what I've done, what you do with these badges, because obviously when when they come out of the packet, they're they're completely flat. So you have to give them a bit of a, a get it, give them a bit of a bend, and try them up against the face of the uh, leg shield there. And there we go. Oh, I'm really happy with the bend on that. That wasn't too bad. These are a bit longer, so they can be, but as you see, that's skew width. That's because it's just sitting on one pin. So what I'm gonna have to do there is uh, glue it down, glue it down, lad. This is how this <laughs> came. So one of the pins is uh, attached, I think, probably with epoxy or something. Anyway, that's what I'm not talking about. So now that I've fit my uh, WKFA SC <laughs> uh, badge, what I'm going to do now to help this, let's show you the tool. This splining tool has got a, a pointy bit and a flat bit. So the flat bit goes on the badge. If you've got a fancy scooter, put something in between there so that you don't uh, wreck your uh, badge at the front and the name of the game is you have to try and wind this in in the center of the pin now the pin as you saw or maybe didn't see they're really 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 tiny so what I what I did last time I actually had some success was use this little needle file of mine uh, just to just to open it up a little bit so it sort of sits slightly secure uh, on the leg shield and I'll do that now I just give it a give it a twirl give it a twirl the 
the annoying thing there is I was pretty sure that I had uh, like two and a half millimeters and it, I think it's sitting a little bit proud. So you obviously can't see this, <laughs> but I actually have to, uh, I'm going to use a file and just file off a tiny little bit more on that badge. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be look a right mess. Right, I'm happy with uh, how those pins uh, stick out now. I've measured them. I'd, I'd, no, I'd sort of do it by eye, but I reckon they're about uh, a millimetre and a half poking out the opposite side of the leg shield. Right, now to the tricky bit. If you see, the last time I did this was on Turid, and this is quite a sharp implement. So uh, as you see, I put some uh, gaffer tape on there just to protect protect the paintwork, not too important with this one. And then what I do is, I put it over here, and I wind in the pointy bit. And it's quite tricky to get it exactly in the hole. And what I'm doing now, I'm applying, a press, I'm, I'm applying pressure with this hand while I wind in the backside. And if I'm really lucky, it will splay the pin over and secure it to the leg shield. Which, uh, it seems it did. Right, let's have a go at the other one before I show you how it turned out. I bet you wouldn't have a look now, don't you? The biggest nightmare, if you don't get it tight enough, then you're gonna end up with a, a movable rattling badge. But this turned out okay. Uh, it wasn't the prettiest job on the back there, but uh, oh, let me grab my camera. I think we're gonna have to do a bit of wobbly cam. All right, let's, uh, I'll... I just can't get it in focus, but you can see it's splayed a little bit there, split. And that size is actually not too bad. That's the original pin with some epoxy on the back there. So that's one way of doing it as well. But uh, I did, I've had loads of requests of people asking me how I uh, fit my badges. This is how I did it on uh, my Series 2. Um, I still could have had, just make sure when you're, when you're looking at the end of the pin, make sure that you press in the badge on the back side so that uh, you're sure that there isn't too much uh, pin sticking out on this side. So, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. And if uh, this was a restoration, you could put a little like, dab of touch-up paint or something like that, and uh, that's pretty uh, reasonable. You'd never see it, really. So I'm going to get my epoxy out and... Uh, fit this badge. As you can see, I've drilled the holes a little bit wonky, but that's not really a problem because this one, the LI150 badge, that is, if I sort of put it there and uh, I move, actually that doesn't look too bad. I think I'll just uh, glue it there. That's all right. That's all right. It'll do. It's a rat. <laughs> But uh, anyway, uh, as I said, this was a request video. A lot of people asked me, how do you use that tool, Rob? And uh, now you know. So don't forget, if you like this kind of, kind of stuff, do the old subscribe. You can uh, support the channel by buying merch or uh, buy me a coffee. And I hope I will see you all in the next one. Ta-ra. Messing around with these cameras, batteries going flat. My character the merang, all the sprung in log of villa come in the talk. In your novice like out to other forty flock, for what to do or draw. Can we phone can a sudden come? Do I send to come so we all the brought love summer?